All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our last video for this full automata from beginning to end with the bottom up design. So this last one we're going to do is we're going to throw in a drawing file um, or in our drawing file, we're going to throw an exploded view in. So I went ahead and made a really quick exploded view to show you what that exploded view looks like. I'm going to create one from scratch and so we'll just follow along with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a storyboard and we're going to do clean. There we go. Now, when you're doing stuff automatically, it will capture things as you're doing it. And we don't want some of those things. We just want... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly do all my transformations and then just edit the video or the camera, the angle it's seeing from at the very end. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do transform. Now, the first thing I'd like to transform is I would like to choose these follower rods. But you see when I click on one, I can only do one at a time. So holding down the control key on my keyboard allows me to select a lot of components at one time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull these up and we're going to pull these over to the side. We're going to do trail line visibility and we're going to split those transforms. That way it'll go up and over rather than diagonally. All right we are ready for our next one. So I'm going to click on transform. Now it looks like the next thing I'm going to transform is I'm going to take this handle off. I'm going to take the handle and the, I would say the mount for the handle. We're going to remove those. I'm going to hit control and then I'm going to select only that piece. That way, um, actually I need to, let's fix that again. Let's do transform. Let's click on these two pieces, drag them over, Turn on trail line visibility, split the transforms, hit control to deselect that so I can continue pulling this piece outwards and then click OK. When you hit the space bar it allows you to see a preview of what you've done so far and um, everything looks OK. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the uh, crankshaft right here. So let's do transform, let's click on that piece, holding down control, that way I'm taking out the crankshaft and that end cap. Trail line visibility, split the transforms, deselect the crankshaft and just pull that end cap out just a little bit more. Click OK and we are done. So when I hit play in that preview right now it's rotating and you see that camera's being captured while I'm doing stuff. I'm not going to worry about it, we're going to figure it out at the end and when it's all done. I imagine students are going to be all up and down, left and right, crisscrossed, and, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to just do the edit at the very end and then call everything done. All right, next thing we're ready to move is I think we're ready to move our box out of the way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on transform and I'm going to click on all sides of the box. And I'm just going to move that whole box out of the way. Trail line visibility, split those transforms, and I'm going to deselect. Actually, we're just going to click OK at that point. All right, now we're ready for our next transform. So I'm going to click on transform again. This is kind of up to you on what that assembly looks like for you. Uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now and just doing one transform at a time because I know these sidewalls are going to go out differently. Not that far. There we go. Trail line visibility, split transforms. And we are almost done, folks. So transform. Bring that last piece out. Click OK. Looking all right. Now, if we want to, I guess we can really transform. I'm going to pull this cam out a little bit. And I'm going to stagger each cam as we're doing this. Click OK. All right. Now, does my assembly or disassembly make sense? Yes, it looks all right so far, kind of showing where pieces are at. Now let's fix that camera. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Um, this last camera view is where I'm at right now, and I really like that one. 
So I'm going to delete all these other ones. I'm just going to click on them, hit delete, take this view, and I'm going to click on it once, and I'm going to stretch it to where it's along that whole disassembly. So if we did this right, it's slowly just going to pan out and show us that disassembly there. And that looks okay. So let's do the full screen view and see if this disassembly makes sense. I might have to tweak that view just a little bit, it looks like. Nope, and that looks okay. If you're good with this, then if you're ready to move on and call this your, uh, pull this into your drawing file. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's save this. So this is Storyboard 2 for me. So I'm gonna create a user saved version of Storyboard 2. In that drawing file, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on Base, that base view we're going to add is going to be storyboard 2, but I need to refresh this. So I'm going to refresh it. Now when I click on base view, storyboard 2 should be there. Looking good. We might be able to get away with a 1 to 2 ratio. And click OK. Let's move that a little bit. And if we want to, we can make it a shaded view and kind of showing where things are at. All right, guys, that's going to be it for our automata. We've made top to bottom, including assembly, disassembly, drawing files, bits and pieces. The only thing you have to do is tweak it to how you want to cater for your classroom or how your teacher is asking you to do it. Good luck. If you have any questions, hit me up on any social media platform. Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.